G'day, I'm Paul. Today I'm gonna to walk you through the all new Mercedes-Benz user experience, MBUX. First debuted in the new A-Class, and I'm gonna give you a detailed review of it with a couple of the functions that are specific to the new A45S. It all centers around these two 10.25 inch screens. We're gonna focus on this one here. It's a touch screen, so you can use the touch functions to navigate through the screen. And then you can also set different themes as well if you want. So you can go from the fancy theme to an old school theme, which changes everything, including your gauges. But for me, I like just sticking with the standard themes. You can also then navigate the infotainment system down here. You've got a touchpad, which allows you to swipe left and right, allows you to click and also right when you're putting in navigation navigation destinations, which I'll show you in a second. You have shortcut buttons to the side. This top one here activates the 360 camera. That actually works really well. It's a very detailed camera and it gives you a stack of different angles to work with. So very intuitive system and a good implementation. If you've seen our other videos before, I'll often complain about low quality 360 cameras. This is how they need to be done so you can actually use them. You then have a shortcut button on the side for access to the car's settings. Underneath that, you have a favorites button. You can set up anything you want in here. And then every time you hit that, you'll be able to quickly dive into those those menus and then finally on the other side you have access to telephone radio and maps as well so let's jump into the telephone menu I'll show you what that looks like so in the phone menu you can connect directly via Bluetooth then use voice recognition to give commands to the car or you can hook up Apple CarPlay oh, it looks a bit nasty so it's not a widescreen Apple CarPlay system by the looks of it it's sort of boxed into that window there I guess it kind of gives them room for you to access other functions but in some of the competitors in this segment including BMW it's actually full widescreen if we then jump back to the main menu, you have your radio functions. Now in here, you can select FM, AM, DAB plus digital. It is an okay system. The only issue I have is when you're looking for radio stations, you kind of have to scroll through an infinite amount of radio stations. It's not a really quick system. You do have access to a search function, a bit hard to use while you're moving, and then also a list function. But again, they're all big icons, and it means that when you're searching, you have to flick through quite a lot of stations before you can actually find what you're after. Now, in terms of media connectivity, you have USB-C ports littered throughout the car. So that's the next generation of USB. You can get a converter like the one that we're using here. You also have built-in media storage and the ability to stream over Bluetooth and also internet streaming as well through your phone, which is handy to have. Now, in the comfort menu, this is where all the climate control functions are and also where you can go through the energizing modes. Now, the drive out to here was about an hour and a half and the car prompted me to use the energizing comfort mode and when I pressed vitality it went through a 10 minute selection of nice music and also the ability for the seat to move around and make it more comfortable for me so that is a nice thing to have and refresh which was interesting it would basically make it out like you're at sea and then start blowing cold air at you ambient lighting you can select from up to 64 LED colors inside the cabin here everything from standard hues through to mixes as well now specific to the AMG models it is optional on the A35 AMG but standard on the A45 is track pace is effectively an ability for you to enter track details into the car some are also preloaded and it gives you metrics from up to 60 or 80 different data points on the car and you can download that information to see how you're doing as a driver it'll collect everything from engine revs to braking performance it really is a useful tool to have if you do plan on attacking track days jump along there to the AMG performance menu this is where you're going to see a lot of data on the car so the engine menu gives you the power output engine torque as well plus all your vital temperatures you have a consumption menu who really cares you've then got options for the vehicle and in here you also have a G meter which you can get to display on the menu in front of you along with slip angles and what the suspension is doing on each corner of the car now the individual configuration is pretty handy because if you want to have the car loud but not have the suspension too firm you can simply set up the individual menu to make the engine go into its dynamic mode but to keep the suspension in comfort mode and that's what I've got it in at the moment that way when you're driving you want to have a bit of fun you can flick this along once it dials up individual mode and then away you go. The next function I want to walk you through here is Mercedes Me. Mercedes Me is the Mercedes application. It's installed on your telephone. And if I open it up here, it allows me to dial up information about the car, remotely start it, see the status of the car, remotely locate it, send map information to the car. And it's very easy to set up. You log into the portal, put your VIN information in, confirm it through the dealer. The other element of this system is the voice recognition system. It actually works really well here. It's activated by saying, hey Mercedes, but I've disabled that because every time we say Mercedes during this video, it tries to activate it. So I'm gonna push it here. Close the roller sunblind. I'm closing the roller sunblinds. So you can see that working there. Uh, but the other cool function is you can change LED interior colors while you're driving. Change the interior LED color to red. 
Could you repeat your input, please? Change LED colour to red. OK, I'm changing the colour. Look, it, it generally works pretty well. Uh, sometimes it won't pick up your commands, but it is a useful system to have, especially if you need to put in navigation addresses or call people with weird names. The navigation menu is a big step forward now as well because it's a much faster system and much easier to use as well. So you can see here the processor is super quick. You can see the traffic overlays on major roads as well. The input functions for destinations are really clever now too. Over on the side here, you can go straight to parking lots, to meals, and then if I click here, you can type in destinations. You can write them in using the top of the pad here. But the interesting function I find here is the ability to say, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Take me to a Chinese restaurant. So what it's doing now is looking up Chinese restaurants nearby. And if I want to go to Heathcote Palace Chinese restaurant, all I do is click that button up the top there. So it is a good integration of navigation into that voice recognition system. Finally, let's have a look at the settings menu. What I like here is that there are graphical highlights for all the functions here. So as I scroll through these, it changes the overlay to tell me which setting I'm actually changing. So this is a clever feature because sometimes you don't know what these symbols mean. If I jump over to the assistance menu, it then goes even further there. And I like the fact that you can actually pick up some of the traffic signs here as well. You can customize a lot of the safety systems built into this car and vary the amount of intervention you're getting. So if you don't like the way that it tugs at the wheel when you're leaving a lane or the way that it tries to, to avoid leaving a lane when you don't want it to, you can switch all of those systems off in a very intuitive way. And finally, the good thing here as well is the owner's manual. It's all a graphical representation. So built into the car, you can come in and find all the functions and figure out what to do with them because there is so much to learn here. So I'll give you a quick look at this. If I go here to tips at the filling station, refueling the vehicle, it will give me a, a lot of warnings because it's German about uh, refueling your vehicle. But then it also gives you quick start guides for things like adjusting the mirrors and, and other critical functions to being able to hit the road and enjoy your new AMG. So that's been a detailed look at MBUX. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or head to carexpert.com.au for more content on this infotainment system.